Hey guys, I'm Tammy and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna share 50 really fast and easy sewing projects that you can create in under about three hours. All the examples that I share are beginner friendly and they're really great for Christmas gifts. So if you're looking for something really fast and easy to make, this video might be for you. Everything that I mentioned in this video will be linked down in the description box. So there'll be an exact timestamp with the actual product that I use in the order that I'm gonna talk through them. So it'll be really easy for you to find. I'm I'm going to break these down by categories and the first one I'm going to talk about is bags and accessories. So you can make really cute pouches and this one is a quilted version and it has a really cute rounded zipper through the middle. It's perfect for makeup and pens or anything you want to organize so it's not really messy. So it's a really cute option if you have lots of scrap fabric and want to make something really useful. DIY bookmarks are also a really useful thing to make and they're perfect for using scrap pieces of fabric. I actually made a tutorial showing you exactly how to make this. They're really easy and perfect gifts for anyone that loves to read. You could also make a mini backpack. I've actually never sewn a backpack but this one is really adorable and I love how small and compact it is. I love the way this one looks. It has a really nice simple construction detail and it uses one meter of fabric for the main and then one meter for the lining so it's a really nice simple project that will challenge your skills a bit but also create a really nice project. I also found this really cute quilted laptop bag tutorial and I love how this one looks. They've got bias bounding around the entire edge and it looks so easy to sew. They actually use velcro as a fastening on the top and the inside of the actual case so it's really easy to open and close. I just love how useful this one is and if you've not done any quilting before this might be the perfect project to try it. There's also this zipped laptop bag so instead of having a velcro fastening it has a zip around the edge and this one is also quilted so again if you're looking for a beginner friendly project to try quilting that's actually going to be useful and something you probably will use every single day this looks like a great project to try. Another thing you could make is a boxy pencil case and I found this one that I really like. I love that contrasting zip color through the middle and I think this construction is really simple and easy to make. This again is really perfect for scrap pieces of fabric because it uses so little and if you do use a thin fabric you'll probably want to interface that to give it a bit of structure but pencil cases in general make such good gifts especially for children. I love these market tote bags I think they look so adorable and I love the way they've displayed it because if you do make a set of them and you hang them up to display them they will look so cute in your kitchen. This is perfect for linens and cottons because you actually only use two pieces of fabric and the way you sew this is you enclose all the seams so it's going to be a really nice neat finished project. Tote bags in general are actually really easy and quick to sew but if you're looking for a bit more of a classic design this one is really cute and adorable. I love the idea of having a contrasting colour for the handle and then using a really nice bold colour for the middle. I think it looks really eye-catching and fun. Tote bags you normally want to use a fabric that has a bit more structure so you're thinking your linens or your cottons just to give it a bit more stability when you're sewing and actually using it. I found this really cute glasses case which I really like because it's actually padded and I've never sewn one before but it looks really simple to make. They actually have a snap button as the fastening so it's nice and easy to open and close. Again a really simple project to make and you can play around with using a contrasting lining fabric for the inside to give it a bit more of a pop when you open it. Then the last item in the bags and accessories category is this really adorable craft case. So if you sew or you knit or you crochet and you have lots of kind of sewing tools that just get really messy in in your drawer having a really nice craft case to put them inside would be such a nice project for you to make. This one looks so simple to construct and they use bias binding around the edges so if you've never tried that technique before this might be a really good project to try that on. So the next category of free sewing patterns is hats and accessories and I found this really cute bucket hat. This is the Sorrento bucket hat and if you've never sewn one before they're actually really simple and easy to make. I made one for my niece not that long ago not using this pattern but if you want to make something you know you'll get a lot of wear out of and you don't want to use that much fabric making something simple and easy like a bucket hat is such a good project to work on. I also came across this really adorable bow scrunchie. So it's basically a normal scrunchie, but you actually have a little bow tea cell around the bottom wrapped around the back of the scrunchie. Again, projects like this make really good Christmas gifts. And if you have like a sack of fabrics that all kind of have similar tones and colors, making a set of scrunchies with the bow would be such a nice present. If you want to say something that's a bit more classic, you can always just go with an ordinary scrunchie, but make maybe a set of five or 10 to go in a cute little pouch. And that would make a really cute Christmas 
Christmas gift. I have a sewing tutorial showing you exactly how I make scrunchies. This method is really quick and easy to make and I normally make scrunchies in under 10 minutes. I love the idea of actually making a fleece headband so you can make a stretchy hair accessory that you put on your ears when you're really cold in winter. And this one is a really simple and quick project to make and it takes such little fabric. So if you wanna make something really useful, this fleece headband would make such an easy and quick sewing project. Now you can just make any beanie, but I found this really adorable cat's hat pattern and it basically has cute little cat ears on the side and I just love the way this looks. So if you wanna make someone a really cute, quirky Christmas gift, this might be the perfect present for loved ones. If you wanna make something a bit more classic, this is just an ordinary cuffed beanie. So it has a really nice cuff detail all the way around. They're really easy and quick to sew. I've personally made beanies before and I just love how simple they are to make. If you don't really like having your head covered but you want your ears to be warm, you could definitely try making a ear warmer. This is a fur ear warmer pattern and it's basically a headband that goes over your head, over your ears, but leaves the top of your head free. This looks so easy and fun to make and it's gonna take such little fabric. So if you have any really small pieces of scrap fabric, this would be perfect for that project. The next category that I have is clothing and I'm gonna start off with a camisole. So this camisole pattern has a really simple construction method, but it has a really nice elevated neckline with that scalloped edging detail. I personally love to have so many options of camisoles in my wardrobe and using a free pattern for that would be perfect. I came across this knit trouser pattern and it's a culotte trouser with a wide leg feature. They're very easy and simple to sew and they have an elasticated waistband. So if you're looking for something really comfortable and easy to sew, this trouser pattern looks very good. If you've never tried sewing trousers before, this type of pattern would be perfect because an elasticated waistband is really easy to fit to your waist. And that style of garment just has a really easy construction method. Sheer tops and dresses are also really fast and easy projects to make. You basically just use an elasticated thread around the bodice of the garment and that just makes it really easy to fit to your body. I have lots of tutorials on sheer tops and sheer dresses, but I'll leave them down below to give you a bit of variety. This t-shirt pattern looks like such an easy and quick project to make and something you'll get a lot of wear out of. If you've never sewn a t-shirt before, they're basically very quick and easy to sew, especially if you have an overlocker. I've personally sewn t-shirts in under two hours and if you choose a pattern that has a really simple construction method, you can definitely do that too. If you wanna sew something that's a bit longer and feels a bit more summery, this maxi dress would be perfect. It looks like a very quick sewing project because all you basically do is sew that top layer to the dress and then put elastic through the top section of the neckline and then literally just sew the side seams and the front slit at the bottom. So very simple and quick construction method. So this top is actually made out of woven fabric. So the t-shirt I shared earlier, you'd use knit fabrics, but this one you would use woven fabrics like cotton or linen. So it's a boxy style top. And again, it's gonna have a very simple construction method where you're just gonna use bias binding around the entire neckline to neatly finish the neckline area. So it's gonna be very quick and easy to make Personally, when I sew tops, I like to use fabric with a bit of drape. So if you're using a linen or a cotton, make sure it's not too stiff because you want it to move nicely on your body when you're wearing it. This blanket really caught my eye because now it's really cold. I definitely want to make clothing that I'm just going to feel really nice and snugly in. And this is a wearable blanket. It's technically unisex because it's so big and large. And it just feels like the perfect cozy piece that anyone can wear if you just want to chill out at home, but you want to be nice and cozy. Definitely something that's not going to be a super quick sew but you can definitely make it in under three hours because it's an unlined jacket and especially if you're using an overlocker to finish your edges this will be super quick to make. If you want to make something a bit more wearable when you're cooking, I found this really cute cross back apron. And again, it's a unisex pattern and it has that really nice detail on the back. I love the idea of having multiple of these hung up in your kitchen. I think the way they've displayed it looks so nice. And again, if you know someone that loves cooking and you want to make something a bit more of a thoughtful gift, making a really cute apron would be such a nice present. I also found this long sleeve men's t-shirt that I really like. It's a really simple crew neckline detail. And as I've said before, sewing t-shirts are very simple simple and easy to make. There aren't many men's sewing patterns online, but I like this one because it feels a bit more stylish. It is a staple classic piece that they will get a lot of wear out of. I also found this really cute bow tie that would be perfect for any scrap pieces of fabric that you want to use up. This one actually doesn't have a fastening. It looks like you just tie the back of it, but I think you can always play around with adding a strip of Velcro at the back just so it feels a bit more secure when you're actually wearing it. 
The next category of free and easy patterns is home decor and accessories. I personally love making things for the house. So if you're looking for inspiration of what you can sew that doesn't involve you wearing it, this will be a perfect category for you. I love the idea of making reusable bowl covers and this tutorial looks really simple and easy to make. You just basically use a scrap piece of cotton or linen fabric and then you use a piece of elastic around the edges so it's gonna cover any open containers or bowls in your kitchen that you wanna prevent the food from going off. Nice and easy and quick to make and I think this would be a perfect project if you're looking for something very small and simple to make. If you want to say something a bit more decorative, I found this really adorable DIY lampshade tutorial. I love the way they use contrasting pieces of fabric around the lampshade. You basically sew the pieces of fabric all together and then use bias binding to finish the edges, but it looks really simple and fun to make and something you can definitely have a lot of fun with in your living room or dining room. Chair cushions will also be such a fun project to make and you basically just use polyfill inside the cushion to give it a bit of padding and softness when you're actually sitting on it. I like that this one has a contrasting print. So it has a really cute blue fabric on the bottom and then a pink fabric underneath with cute little buttons to hold the fabric down. If you wanna spruce up your dining room area, but you don't wanna do anything too drastic, making something like chair cushions that you can easily switch in and out of would be the perfect way to decorate your living room. I found these really cute hexagon coasters. Coasters in general are very easy and simple to sew. And I think I've sewn them before in under like 10 minutes. This one has a really cute hexagon detail so it feels a bit more different. You can definitely use coasters to use up scrap pieces of fabric but I find the best way to sew coasters is to have like a range of four or five different shades of fabric that all feel in the same family so when you have a set they look like they're actually all part of the same vibe. So I've personally sewn pillows myself before, but I really love this pom-pom heart pillow. I think it's a really cute pattern and you basically just use felt on the front of the pillow to make the heart shape and then you sew that onto the cushions. It's a very simple and easy project to make. And I love the fact that you customize the edges of the pillow with that pom-pom detail. This would make a really cute Christmas gift. If you wanna make something in under five minutes, I definitely recommend trying to sew a dish towel. This specific pattern actually shows you how to use milted corners to give a bit more of a finished edge. Again, they're just very useful around the house and they would actually make a really cute Christmas gift if you had like a stack of them and put a ribbon around them. I also found this really cute table runner. So if you wanna make something a bit more complicated that still is quite quick to make, this pattern actually has a really cute applique detail where you have a little dove and a Christmas tree, but it looks really simple and fun so and would make such a nice addition to your dining table. If you want a bit more of a simple table runner that doesn't have too much detail going on, this is a great pattern because it's just a simple table runner with two pieces of fabric, which you can actually have contrasting pieces on either side and swap them around depending on what pattern you want facing up. I've never made an oven mitt, but I found this really great tutorial showing you how to make a double oven mitt. It's basically a long oven mitt that has hands on either end and you basically sew it with cotton and then use a batting in between the layers you give it a bit more warmth and structure so you don't burn yourself when you're picking anything up. But if you prefer just having single hand oven mitts, this is a really nice pattern where it's quilted all the way around and you can just make a pair for yourself. You use bias binding around the edges of the bottom to finish it off, but I love the way this one looks too. I also found these really cute oven mitts, but I think technically they're hot pads and they have little cute hand pockets you can put into the side. They're square and they're very adorable. And again, you can make like a pack of three and make them all match with similar fabrics. So this one I've actually never seen before and I think it's a really cute sewing project to make and it's an unpaper towel. So you basically make reusable sheets and you put that around a little paper towel rack. I never really thought about using reusable paper towels. So if you're looking for something a bit more conscious to sew, this might be the perfect project for you. If you wanna spruce up your living room, I also found this really cute pillow tutorial made out of velvet and they basically quilt the front of the pillow which gives it a really nice subtle texture. I love the way this one looks. But if you want to make a pillow that's not just a standard square pillow, I found this really nice rounded pillow that has a gorgeous quarter detail that all kind of comes into the middle. And I think this one would actually make a really cute gift because it has a bit more of an interesting design detail and it doesn't just feel like you're gifting someone a pillow, but more of a fun statement piece that they could use in their home. If you have any really small scrap pieces of fabric, I'm talking like two or three inches wide or high, then using them to make reusable makeup wipes would be perfect because you really do only need a small piece of fabric fabric to make things like this. You can use a toweling fabric or something with a bit more grit so when you're actually removing your makeup it feels like it's actually doing something and then once you're done with them you put them in the wash and reuse them again. 
The next category is Pets Accessories and I found this really cute dog coat. This looks like a really simple and fast project because it has a really simple fastening on the front neckline and then the whole fabric is just finished with bias winding around the edges. It's also actually reversible so you can wear it either side depending on what print you want to show. I've never thought of doing this but I also found a really cute simple project where you can sew a cat toy and use really small pieces of scrap fabric to make this. This one actually just uses a sweet wrapper inside the fabric to make it crinkle and make that sort of noise so when your cat's playing with it it has a bit more of a experience of sound. This catnip cat pouch also looks really simple and easy to make. It has these really cute ties at the edges so your cat can play with them and then also a velcro opening where you can put catnip inside the pouch. Just make sure when you sew the velcro it's really securely on because you don't want it to open and then your cat just to eat the actual catnip. I also found this really cute dog leash pattern where you just use really thin pieces of fabric to create the leash along the neckline and then also the long strap which you can hold. Very easy to make and I love the fact that you could probably customize this and also use your Cricut machine to actually put their name on the leash to give it a bit more of a special touch. I also found this really adorable cat bed. I've never thought of sewing a cat bed before and this one looks so cozy and comfortable. You can see they've used a really fun plush fabric so it's very comfy to sit on. You can either stuff this with polyfill or if you have lots of scrap pieces of fabric like I mean a big bag you can use that inside the cat bed to act as like the polyfill. It looks so simple and easy to make and if you have cats in your house this would be perfect for them. The last category is children's toys and I have a few that I want to share. This is such an adorable dinosaur toy and I already know I want to make this for a loved one. You want to use soft fabric for this project so I'm thinking fleeces or plush fabric and then I like the fact that they've used contrasting colours to differentiate the different pieces on the dinosaurs. It doesn't necessarily have to be the same type of fabric. It could be contrasting pieces of fabric but they just have a similar weight. Then I also came across these really adorable sky toys. There's four of them. There's a little sun, a little moon, a little star and a little cloud and it would make such a cute gift for children in your family. They use plushy fleece fabric for the actual toy so it's really soft and easy to hold and then they embroider the little faces on but it's a really cute simple project to make and I just know this would be perfect for anyone in your family that has children. You could also definitely add little rattles or something inside the toy so they actually make a noise when you shake them. And then the last pattern that I have to share is this really adorable dolphin toy. Again, you're using plushy soft fabric to make it, but you can make a cute little set and give these to children in your family. I love the fact that they use pastel fabrics when making this. I think it makes a more stylish toy, but you embroider the eyes on so it's nice and friendly for kids and you just use poly stuffing inside it. It looks so simple to make and because it's really tiny, I think it's going to make a really quick sewing project. So that is my roundup of 50 free and easy sewing patterns that you can make. You can either make them as gifts for loved ones or just make them for yourself. Sometimes I just like to sew really fast and easy projects that I just know will be done quickly and they're a nice palette cleanser when you've been working on something so time consuming. Let me know in the comments which ones are your favourite and again I've linked all the details of all the patterns that I've mentioned in the description box below in the order that I've mentioned it with a timestamp. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one.